What's up, Hue enthusiasts? Welcome to my channel, I'm Justin Tech. There is so much you can do with your Philips Hue products to get the most out of them that you may not know about. And today, I'm going to cover five different ways to utilize Philips Hue accessories, voice assistants, and third-party apps to get more out of your Philips Hue lights. This is also a bit of a two-parter. Next week, I'm coming out with a Philips Hue installation hacks video, so make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell for alerts so you don't miss when it comes out. And if you guys enjoy the video, you should totally give me a like. All right, let's light up this video. First, let's talk disabling motion sensors. Motion sensors are a really helpful tool, but sometimes you don't want them activating. Of course, you can program them to activate and not activate at certain times, but maybe you're watching a movie and it's in that time period where they should react, but you don't want them to. In these cases, there's an easy way to disable the motion sensor using smart switches paired with the iConnect Hue app on iOS. Head to devices and select a dimmer switch. Here, you can customize a specific task when you press and hold a button. For the top button, I'll assign to control a motion sensor. Then select Enable Motion Sensor and choose the one in the kitchen. Next, I'll assign the motion sensor to disable with a press and hold on the bottom button. So, whenever I'm ready to watch a movie, I come over to this dimmer switch, hold down that off button, and the motion sensor disables. And then, when the movie's over, come back, Hold that on button and the motion sensor is enabled again. Now for the Hue Sync box. Of course, there's an app where you can turn it on and off, change all the settings, but you can also activate and control it through routines using your voice assistants. The Sync box voice features work with Amazon, Google, and Siri shortcuts. There's no HomeKit support yet, but using Siri shortcuts, you can activate scenes. Off the bat, once connected to voice assistants, you'll be able to control the sync box using different commands that they tell you right on the app. On the Amazon app, you can adjust all the controls right in the routines setup and integrate them right into your routines. For Google Assistant, what you'll need to do is create a list of voice commands to activate after you say something. Creating a Siri shortcut on iPhone is easy. Open up the shortcuts app and select the plus sign in the top left corner. From here, you can access any scenes and lights from the normal Hue app and Hue Sync. With Hue Sync, I can add a list of commands to start or stop the device, sync with a specific input, and apply certain settings. If you're a HomeKit user, you are going to love this next one. You can take your Philips Hue accessories and program them through HomeKit to activate HomeKit scenes. This basically makes it a smart switch for anything. I went over these and a bunch of other switches in my Ultimate Philips Hue Smart Switch Guide video, and I'll put that right up there for you if you wanna learn more. Let's start with the Senec and Gira and Run Less Wire switches. First, connect the accessory with the Hue Bridge. Be sure not to assign any controls to the buttons. Once connected, go to the Home app and find the Friends of Hue switch. Oddly, even if I rename it on the Hue app, it still transfers over as this generic name. From there, all you need to do is assign scenes or device controls, and you're good to go. For these switches, button 1 to 4 goes from top left to bottom right. You can also assign HomeKit scenes to the Hue dimmer switch and the Hue button. The dimmer switch is similar with four controls, and the Hue button can only control one action. Next, let's talk NFC chips. NFC chips can be used to store information and automations that are activated when your phone taps them. I found a bunch of NFC options from waterproof to stickers, and they're all really cheap. I've linked them down in the description. To set one up, we'll open up the Shortcuts app again. This time, head to the Automation tab. From there, create and select NFC. Next, you'll need to tap your phone on the chip. Once scanned, you can give the NFC a name and start applying HomeKit scenes and shortcuts to activate every time you tap it. I went into detail on creating shortcuts for Hue in one of my recent videos, and I'll link that in the top corner and down in the description. Stay tuned for an episode on NFC chips, and when that comes out, it will be right there or down there. Next, let's talk automations with If This Then That, or IFT. IFT is a system that allows you to create connections between programs and services that wouldn't otherwise be connected. Using IFT, you can track a Domino's pizza order status. We set it up to have a light turn red when it was in the oven, green when it's in quality check, and have it blink when it goes out for delivery. 
So yeah, if you're watching a movie and you see that light blink, you know, okay, the pizza's on the way, we're close. The website makes it extremely easy to create these automations, or what they call applets. First, you choose a this, then a that, and activate it. You can also turn on notifications to receive alerts on your phone when an applet runs. Ift is free for three automations, but if you want unlimited, you'll have to pay $3.99 a month. Now I wanna hear from you guys. What are your Philips Hue features or hacks that you're taking advantage of? Let us know down below in the comments and stay tuned for next week's episode. I'm coming out with the Philips Hue installation hacks. So make sure to subscribe, click that bell for alerts. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a like. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.